impact the Marine Lair has had, though, just some 50s for Santa Cruz and Monterey, or still in the 50s. Now, winds, not as big of a factor today as we saw some stronger gusts along the coast yesterday. They will continue to come up over the next couple of hours. But just looking at what the winds do, it's actually part of the reason that we have more sunshine in Santa Cruz right now than what we just saw in that Embassy Suites camera. Those northwesterly winds push the clouds out, but also push the clouds in. Mountains and valleys, though, widespread sunshine. That's the same case tomorrow. Where we'll see more of a change is going to be with our temperatures. Today, we're very close to average conditions. But look at that jump that we have through Tuesday. That's the warmest day of the week right there. Even the return of some low 90s for our warmest inland cities. Some good news, though. It's not as hot as it was last week, and it's not going to be sticking around all that long. By Wednesday, you already start to get some relief. Usually the largest heat impacts come when you have multiple hot days in a row. And we do have that moderating impact from the coast, which is always good. I think that one of the best ways to see that is looking at the heat alerts, where our coastal cities, actually most of the cities, don't have a heat advisory. And then as you go farther inland, like Morgan Hill, Gilroy, Pinnacles, that's where you do have the heat advisory in place. Again, the timing on that, it's just Tuesday. It's just kind of a one day warm up and then things start to return to normal, maybe even below average by Thursday. This is another way to see the heat that's going on. This is the heat impact this afternoon. Central coast in the yellow, meaning basically no impact whatsoever, just some low to mid 80s at the warmest. And then that's the heat impacts tomorrow, where Central Valley does start to see that red color, which represents major impacts. And then we do start to see some of the orange showing up, especially in the lower Salinas Valley, which represents moderate impacts. But if you dealt with last week, then this time around shouldn't be anything major. Now looking at the highest temperatures today, mid 80s in parts of the Santa Cruz Mountains, Morgan Hill, Gilroy, King City. Kind of the usual hot spots where it will be coolest is from Moss Landing down to the Monterey Peninsula. That's where we still have that marine layer intact. Now, eight day forecast, that's where even the coast will be a bit warmer tomorrow with some earlier clearing of the marine layer. Keep an eye on those low 90s, but yeah, whole eight day forecast doesn't look too bad.